dear student welcome to this online lecture of the subject cad cam and cae today we are going to complete a sixth chapter that is cnc and dnc technology the first bit of this chapter is classification of cnc machine tools so the cnc machine tools are classified in three categories first it is according to movement of tool again it is classified into three types that is point to point control system straight line control system and contour machining center the second type is according to the type of control system it is also classified into categories that is open loop control system and closed loop control system the third type is according to the axis moment which is again classified into three types that is two axis system three axis system and five axis system even there are eight axis systems available in the markets or industries so we'll go for the briefing of each and every classification so first classification is point to point control system so in point to point control system the tool is moving from one point to another point and the machining is occurring at that particular point only so when the tool is moving from first point to second point there will be no machining or contact of tool and workpiece but when it will reach the desired position it will start the machining there will be the contact between the tool and workpiece so you can see the example of such types of control systems are drilling boring reaming tapping and punching so you can see in this image we are we are performing a drilling or a boring operation so the next type is the straight line control system in straight line control system when the tool is moving from first point to second point it will start removing the material in a straight line so this type of control system can be used in both cnc lathe as well as cnc milling or vertical machining center here you can see a cylindrical job in which we have to reduce the diameter for this purpose we have to provide the turning operation so you can see that a single point cutting tool is folded here so when it will be contact between the tool and workpiece it will continuously reduce the diameter throughout the length given length the next type is contour machining center contour machining centers are most flexible type of machine tool system it can perform both point to point control system as well as the straight cut operations one of the greatest advantage of this type of control system is that machining can be done on more than one axis the part of the cutter is continuously controlled to generate the desired geometry of the workpiece for this reason control systems are called as continuous numerical system or cnc system so in this figure you can see that here the tool path has been shown here and the tool is providing both straight line cut as well as a radius cut so you can cut fillets chamfer in this type of control machining center you can cut any desired profile that is required in this type of control machining center so according to the type of system the first it is the open loop control system open loop control system in which the feedback element is absent open loop control systems are very less costly or cheap system this type of systems are used where accuracy is not too much important the accuracy of such types of system depend upon the machining capability or life of the machines it will also depend upon the maintenance that you are carrying on that particular machine such types of control systems are maximally used in the retrofitting type of machines which are converted from old to new conversion of old machines to cnc machines in a simple diagram we can explain this open loop control system you can see that a stepper motor is connected to a transmission system that is a gear box which is connected to the lead screw on which the table is moving so the circular motions of the lead screw are converted to the linear motion of the table forward or reverse direction so to obtain the linear motion of this table 
what we have to do we have to generate the pulses and we have to rotate this motor circular to certain angle which will causes the rotary motion conversion of rotary motion into the linear motion of the table clockwise and anti clockwise movement will give you the forward as well as reverse direction so next it will be the closed loop control system in closed loop control systems a feedback signal is present because availability of this sensor this sensors may be two types that are limit switches as well as proximity switches limit switches are those sensors that make actual contact with the object to sense the physical presence of the object and proximity sensors without making any contact it will sense the presence so there is a sensors which will provide the signal to the comparator in the comparator it will compare the values that are given by you and actual values that are obtained at this end suppose if you are giving the linear motion of x is equal to 20 mm and actual moment is measured as x is equal to 21 mm obviously the motor should rotate in the anti clockwise direction to compensate that 1 mm so for this purpose you can see that here it is the input again it will be the pulses comparators amplify to amplify the signals which are supplied to this dc servo motors and again there is a transmission system so comparator plays very important role and sensors also plays a very important role in this type of systems so the next it will be the two axis system two axis systems are generally the cnc lathe machines in which the tool is moving in two axes that is x and z so x is the moment when the tool is moving or when the carriage is moving from one point to another that is the tool is moving parallelly with respect to the workpiece and z moment it will be the moment of the compound slide that is the moment of moment of tool in the perpendicular direction of the workpiece so x can provide you the turning operation and z can provide you the facing operations next it will be the three axis machines in three axis machines we have to move the machines in three axes that is x y and z so you can see the diagram of this three axis moment that is x moment y moment as well as this z moment so x is the moment of the table y is the moment of the saddle and z is the moment of the spindle so obviously when the axis identification will find which moment of table will give you the what type of axis for reference we will see here when the table is moving to the right with respect to the tool it is considered as positive x when the table is moving to the left with respect to the tool it is considered as negative x when the saddle is moving towards the spindle it is positive y and when the saddle is moving away from the spindle it will be negative y when the tool is moving towards the workpiece it is positive it will be negative z and when the tool is moving away from the workpiece it is a positive z so this will be the three axis machines now what are the features of cnc machines the general features of cnc machines is first it will be it has having the automatic tool changer second it is having the automatic pallet changer third it is having the automatic lubrication system it can set the different tool setters length compensate the tool it is having the adaptive control system we will be brief again in the next slide and there is a tool pass emissions so when you are using this automatic tool changer there is no need of removing the workpiece in a single set of workpiece you can provide, provide the different types of operations you can use the different types of tool the tool will be automatically changed as per the given program in the automatic pallet changer there is no need of continuously loading and unloading of the workpiece loading and unloading will be done automatically automatic lubrication systems provide the important way what is actually whenever you are requiring the lubrications what quantity of lubrication is required the total will be controlled in this automatic lubrication systems now in this automatic tool length setters we are seeing that the tools are having the different length and you have to compensate that length which will be provided this automatic tool length setter adaptive control system will control the speed automatically depending the type of workpiece